Welcome in beautiful travelers. My name is Marie at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a reading for Cancer, our water signs Cancer. Glad to have you here. Cancer, you are ruled by the moon. The moon is a planet of feelings and emotions. Your dual nature is to be both sensitive, yet you can be moody. And your drive is to nurture. You are the feelers, the water bearers. <clears throat> So welcome to you. Welcome in Cross Watchers. You may be connected to or in a relationship with a Cancer. You are here to find out what's going on with your person. So some of this message could be for you as well. Here we go. Our energies are working together to create a message for you. Wow. Cancer's ready to talk today. Um, <laughs> our energies are working together to bring forth a message for you. For the highest atonement of soul growth and soul evolution, as well as for yourself and for the planet, for all humanity, all living deities. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind, use those intuitive hits, those gut reactions, um, pay attention to that. That's a message, spirit trying to talk to you. Time is fluid, so anytime you come across this message was a time that you were meant to see it. Stay open to that process of fluidity. And if you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe so that the message can get out to others who also may need the message just as well. So let's see where we go with you today, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. If this message doesn't resonate, you might want to check your Moon. Zodiac sign. You might be more in touch or in rhythm with the lunar cycle this month. So for your theme, we have the uh, Knight of Cups and we have the Seven of Wands. Knight of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Seven of Pentacles, I'm sorry. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. So this could be about procrastination, giving a message that's heartfelt. Or this could be an opportunity from a message coming in that's heartfelt. Or some kind of gift that's coming from a heart source. So let's see where we go for you today. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Messages for those watching for the highest atonement, soul growth, and soul evolution. Thank you. All right, here we go. Your overall energy, the Hierophant. Um, that is Earth energy coming in specific to Taurus. That is, um, the Hierophant is also about a commitment. Um, this could be about a marriage. This could be about some kind of structure, some kind of symbolic. Like the Hierophant is our dogmas that we all agree to abide by. So it's the judicial system, the educational system, um, the banking system, just kind of how we... We've all collectively bargained our life around. It's dogmas. It's, it's um, ideologies. It's um, paradigms. So your situation, Six of Pentacles, something to do with reciprocity, something to do with giving and receiving, something to do with resources, something to do with giving your time, giving your energy. Your opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, starting something new, what the universe is working on with you, King of Wands, giving you that inspiration, the vision, the desire, the passion, the meaning, energies that surround you that you might not be aware of, temperance, balance. Balance between the inner world and the outer world. Blending, harmony, bringing together. <clears throat> working with your angels, working with your spirit guides. 
working with your emotions, working with your feelings. Energies that are coming in the near future, Six of Wands, overcoming, something moving for the better, energies that are leaving or fading away, Queen of Cups. This could be about being overly emotional. This could be about being needy. This could be about um, fantasies. This could be about um, <clears throat> your emotional wants and needs. This could also be about emotional intelligence. How you're showing up in this situation, the sun, a warm, happy place. What's right in front of you that you need to contend with? The Empress. This could be you. This could be your person. Your hopes and fears. The moon. Something being hidden. Secrets. Maybe deep inner feelings. Deep inner wantings. Deep inner desires. And your outcome. The Six of Swords. Leaving something behind. With the Three of Pentacles. Leaving something behind and going towards something that's more fulfilling. Working with other people. Working with opening up. Building. Building something. Leaving something behind to build something. So there could be an opportunity coming in for you to build your own garden. Something to do that's more heart fulfilling. Something that's do that's more fulfilling from for your soul, for soul growth. So let's see where we go with this today for you, Cancer. <clears throat> so your situation is reciprocity, give and take. The Six of Pentacles. Maybe giving too much of your time. Maybe not getting enough, receiving enough in return. This could be career related. Doesn't have to be, but it could be. So let's get clarity on that for you. What is the Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles, please. Clarify for Cancer. We have the King of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the World. So endings or new beginnings. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Could be dealing with another water sign. I feel like the King of Cups is you. Because you've got the Queen of Cups here. Somebody very important to you. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Or somebody with a lot of fire energy. Um, could be somebody that's very egoic, could be somebody that's very drama orientated, selfish in nature, egocentric. You could be dealing with somebody like that, or somebody could be dealing with you. That's like that. Or this could be you, but I feel like you're the king of cups. You know best, so... Feel free to swap around the characters as needed in this reading. But there's an ending here. There's either an ending or there's a, there's a new beginning. But there's some kind of difference in give and take. Somebody's giving a whole lot more and somebody's taking. So let's see what the Ace of Pentacles is for you. This covers the Hierophant. So again, that's earth energy coming in, specific to Taurus. This could be about a new beginning, maybe in structure, in your personal structure. Starting over. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. This 
could be leaving third party situations as well. Or this could be about third party situation because we got the Queen of Wands, we've got the Empress, we got the Queen of Cups, and we got the Queen of Pentacles coming in. One more time through, please. <clears throat> we have the King of Swords. And we have the Two of Pentacles. This could be making a decision between two people. Or more than two people, actually. Um, this could be about a split. We got Air Sign showing up now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could be leaving a fire sign and going to an air sign or an earth sign. We're going to get one more on this. Whoa. We have strength coming in. So this could be about control. Trying to con trying to control a situation maybe by changing partners. Or somebody else is changing partners on you. Finding the strength. The clarity, the understanding. So there's a lot of people in here. There is a lot of people in here. Let's see what this King of Wands is. Clarify the King of Wands, please, for Cancer. Wow, the Emperor. The Prince of Wands or the Knight of Wands. It's a lot of passion here. It's a lot of passion. There's a lot of control. Um, there's a lot of like charismatic energy, kind of that energy that's very flamboyant, um, restless. Kind of player, almost player-like. It's about control. Because we got the emperor here. And we have strength here. This could be about trying to control emotions. Trying to control people. Trying to control situations. Trying to control relationships. Some of you might be moving about quite frequently. We definitely have imbalance, so give me one more, please. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. This could be somebody who kind of is very, either this is you or this is somebody else. This is what the universe is either trying to help you with or trying to get you to see. There could be somebody that comes in that 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 offers uh, quite a bit of passion. They say everything right. They say everything you want to hear. Um, they kind of come in and sweep you off your feet. Um, there could be more more people involved in this that you might not be aware of. Or you could have more people involved in this. Um, there's definitely an imbalance here of give and take. 
You could be in a commitment with this person or maybe even in a marriage. Could be both parties, like one makes the other one jealous, envy, strife. And then the other one goes out and tries to make the other one jealous. Let's see what the Six of Wands is here. There's lower level energies at play here, definitely. Greed, lust, envy, jealousy, competition. This could be about somebody wanting to win. So we have the Three of Wands, we have the Magician, we have the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Four of Pentacles. Energies coming in are about wanting something better, wanting something different, setting out new intentions, into like seeing things from a different perspective, changing your outlook on things. Um, Learning something new. Because you might feel stuck. You might feel like you're holding on to something. Like there's definitely a desire. There's definitely a desire to, to overcome, you know, change perspective. You've got the magician here that's air energy coming up again, Gemini. Wanting to change a situation, wanting to make it better, wanting to um, learn something new, even taking the initiative to do it, but feeling stuck. Or maybe holding on to some things, maybe holding on to a few things. This could be your ideas, this could be paradigms, this could be thought processes. Um, let's look at, I'm going to use this deck, what the sun is. This is how you're coming in because the queen of cups is going out. So you got the king of cups in your situation and you got the queen of cups leaving. And in your, um, in your outcome, you've got leaving a situation. To build something better. Or maybe even leaving a situation that has third parties attached to it. Well, it looks like there's more than third parties here. It looks like there's a whole lot. Clarify the sun, please, for cancer. There's a, there's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot going on. There's a, there's a lot of people involved here. We have the moon, we have secrets, the moon, something's being hidden. We have the king of wands again. So the king of wands in how you're showing up in the situation as well as up in what the universe is trying to help you with. And we have um, the knight of pentacles. This could be about illusion. Could be a lot about illusion. It's been going on for a long time. Could be egoic in nature. Could be envy. Could be jealousy. Could be, you know, desire. Could be driven by desire. Something, yeah, two of swords. Not, not wanting to listen to the truth, not wanting to hear anything, not wanting, like shutting your eyes and your ears, not taking counsel, unwilling to learn. This could be about being illusional. Not seeing something clearly. Something's hidden, not seeing something clearly. Whether this is 
the other person who has some stuff going on or or this is you not really willing to listen to counsel or listening to just don't want to don't want to deal with it don't want to deal with it so let's see what the empress is we got all signs showing up here fire signs i will look at fire signs in the extended there's a lot of fire energy coming through here aries leo sag could be somebody with a lot of fire in their chart um earth energy definitely Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I will look at those in the extended. Let's see what the Empress is. <clears throat> we have the star looking at what you're manifesting, looking at what's showing up in your life. Because the Empress is about manifestation and the star is about embodiment of energies. We have the devil. There's some attachments here to lust. Yep. There's definitely dependency attachments here. This could be codependency 101. This could be attachments to um, lower level energies like, you know, lust, greed, um, sexuality, For some of you, this could be about porn. This could be about exchanging partners all the time. This could be about sexual desires. But there's definitely some kind of like toxic behavior going on here. And it needs healing. Yeah, we got the high priestess too. That's the secret keeper. Not listening to your intuition. But the high priestess keeps secrets. She doesn't tell. So these could be hidden behaviors. These could be hidden from sight. You might be delusional and hiding them from yourself or somebody's hiding them from you. But I don't see the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords coming up here. I just see the, the Four of Pentacles being stuck and the Six of Pentacles, um, the balance of give and take. And usually when you've got the King of Wands and the Prince of Wands, that's, that's about taking. Yeah, two of two of wands. Which road are you going to go down? Having to make a decision. The six, six of swords in the outcome could also be about escaping. Escaping to third party situations. Or it could be leaving something behind, same thing, going towards another shiny object. Give me one more on that, please. So I will look at air signs and I'm going to look at fire signs in the extended. I'm going to get a little bit more into this outcome. I'm going to look at what this temperance is all about, energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. I'm going to look at both fire signs and air signs, and I'm going to look at tendencies that need to be released during this time and the energies that need to be embraced. But I want to get one more card on here. <laughs> you got the devil showing up. That's about desperation, attachments. Yeah, the chariot, fast-moving energy, the two of cups, moving into relationships too fast. Some, some sort of attachment. This could be <coughs> going into relationships too fast before you've healed, the, healed yourself from um, the last relationship you were in. This could be about escaping. There is a lot of players involved here. And it's driven by lust, desire, jealousy. Control. Rage, anger. This has been going on for a while. This has been going on for a long time. And it looks like it looks like you want something better. You want to set out new intentions, but you feel stuck. There's some manipulation here. There's some manipulation that has been happening over a period of time. It's driven by illusion. 
illusion and secrets because you got the moon in your hopes and fears maybe not being discovered so with that capricorn or cancer this could be you this could be the other person feel free to swap around the characters but this is an opportunity for you to um to learn something new this is an opportunity to attend to your own garden this is a gift coming in to kind of open up your world so for those of you not going on i will get a message to you from message guide from spirit to you from the divine to the divine this is from the seven oracles of energies guidebook by colette baron reed so energies for cancer please energies for cancer The land between. Here's your key concepts. You're between worlds. Learning to be okay while at the threshold of what was and what will be at a time of waiting and evolving. Gray areas, something essential yet still in development and metamorphosis. You are in the process of change. You know that you were called to it and can no longer be who you were, but you aren't sure what the next experience of your life will be. That's your wanting something different here. You are in between what was and what could be in a pupil stage, like during the metamorphosis of the caterpillar into the butterfly. However, you can't just skip the messy parts. You have to endure the unknown and uncomfortable to reinvent yourself. The thing is, you're not quite there yet. You have one foot in the past, even if you're ready to shed the version of yourself and become something new. You must start redefining who you are in the context of your question. What do you believe is possible when you get to the next place? Can you explore this stage of your evolution to get to know yourself better? The process in between worlds is where things get really interesting. You learn how to manage your fear, how to stay present in the now, how to see in the dark, you absorb the lessons offered to you with grace because you can't go any faster. This is a real test of emotional fortitude, patience, trust, and humility. Once you have made this no man's land your home, it will be part of you. Then whatever was set in motion comes to life. This is what you've been waiting for. When you look back, you will grow to love the place in between for that is where you were reborn. So that's what I have for you, Cancer, and I hope this helped. For those of you going on, the link is below. If not, until next time, I wish you peace that passes all understanding. Bye-bye.